okay, it is Monday, and it feels like it already. We are encroaching on noon. Yep, it's noon, like right up, straight up. Don't pay attention to the hair. I do have on a bow, though. I deep conditioned it, so that's why it looks like it looks. We're rolling with it, because it's Monday. <laughs> um, let's see how I can do this. And it feels every bit of it. Um, oh, to those of you that wanted to see the blanket, here it is. It's just double crochet all the way. And then I did like a double crochet edge. For some reason, um, my corners... But as my grandmother would say, she needs to be blessed to have it. But for some reason, my corners at the edges are curling. Babe, you crochet. What do I do? What am I doing wrong? Am I not? Do I need to add a stitch? Because when I got to my corners, I added one. Do I need to add three? And that would make a double. And that how it goes. What do I do wrong? Anywho, so I made her that. It's so soft. And the straight pink, I did variegated. I did what? Four rows of variegated and then three rows of the solid pink. And if you look real close, that solid pink has almost like a glitter string going through it. It is, it is pretty. It is very pretty. And I was running out of um, yarn is the reason why I stopped when I did. I'm giving her that. And a sweet, 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 precious friend that has given me a bunch of material and a bunch of stuff gave me this i gave one to our other great niece the one that was born in february i gave her the bigger size because i figured by the time it warmed up she would need the bigger size it's a it's a bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini it is a little bikini this is the top and then this is the little bottom look at that look how little it is a three month Look how tiny. So I figure, oh, how precious. It's got popsicles smocked on it. Isn't that adorable? And this is what I used to do on the girls' dresses. And I tried pleating. Um, I'll show you what I tried pleating. And I don't know if it's my pleater or if it's me. I think part of it's me. My hands are... So swollen, I just can't do. But then this is a cute bubble. I know it doesn't look like a bubble suit, but cut, it blouses. But it's a bubble. It's got little legs. But isn't that cute? It's very silky. So I got that. And then I made, I got a onesie. I bought onesie. It is a nine months because they grow so daggum fast. Um, I wanted something that she could grow into, but I put the little eyelet and rick rack ruffles on the butt. And I'm trying to decide if I need one more ruffle. I think that's going, I think that's going to be okay. They say go one inch up from, so I think that's going to be all right. But that's all you got to do to dress up, just to kind of make it a little bit special. Get you a store-bought onesie, and get you some trim, and do the booty. I'm just saying. Or you can take Rick Rack, the little bitty tiny Rick Rack, and go around the neck, and go around the little sleeve. That's cute, too. In fact, I have a solid white. I do have a solid white 
three to six month, I could do some rick rack on, I could do the rick rack around the neck and then around the sleeves. I might do that because that wouldn't take two seconds. I might do that. But she's got, this is the one, this is my sister's youngest son. Him and his wife, they're the ones having the baby. They already have a little boy. He is almost three. His name is Paul. He's sweet as he can be. He's a little stinker, though, y'all. But I figured everybody is going to be oohing and on over this baby when in the quarantine ends, anyway. Nobody can get around her once she's born, but you know what I mean. I got this for him. Remember when the Valentine's, all the Valentine's stuff was marked down at Walmart, and I got this for like a dollar. So, um, it's a dinosaur, but he is a da -da -da -da, teddy bear. So, I figured everybody's going to be giving the baby gifts. Um, you know, he is going to need something of. He is a special big brother. This is what he gets. So, I, I found, you know, to kind of do that, if they've got an older sibling, it works out great doing it that way. So, but I think, and this is still my hotness. You can tell if I've been creative because it's in a state of chaos. My husband made the comment, he said, I can tell you've been creative because it's like this. And I'm like, yeah, I've been sewing. So, there you go. <laughs> but here is what I've... Whoa, don't trip. Here is the piece that I have pleated. I'm loving the material, and I'm loving how it pleated. Well, I'm loving what it's going to look like once, but I can't get my pleats right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have no clue. So, we got to move on from that project. Um, it's a three-month anyway, so she'll have time. I'll have time to figure it out. Moving on. Um, I can. I think I'm going to do the rick rack on this. That's what I can do. And then I need to start my little boy outfit. He's coming in July. That's right around the corner. And that does not require smocking. It requires pin tucks. Oh, sweet heavens. Never done those before. So... But, this is where Monday finds us. I am just, I did do, fill my pill bottles. I got those filled. Um, I think I might have said that. I am finding things a little alone. Do you see the dirt? That's where the dog bones used to be. That needs to be clean. Hey, I was taking, what did I do with my... I had, I had, or have, I lost my clipboard. <laughs> Aha. I am, like I was talking about, we are doing, oh, my back. We are doing shelf cooking. Um, last night, y'all saw how I dug through this freezer, and I kind of found things. Like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, I'm just kind of going through. And I'm making a list of like breakfast stuff that we have. And lunch stuff that we have. Um, they're always, we don't have anything for breakfast. Yes, we do. We've got a whole long list of crap. Um, i got a whole brand new bag. Never been broke into. They've been in the freezer. Um, mini cinnamon raisin bagels. So I put that forefront to the top where they can see it. I've got one blueberry bagel. And I do have two things. A brand new cream cheese that's never been opened. 
but it hurt, needs to hurry up and be open, you know what I'm saying? Well, now I think it's dated for July. Let's see what the date on that is. Nope, June. June the 26th. July the 15th. So they need to use the top one first. Yeah. Any hazels. Um, I did the same thing with the lunch stuff. I'm just kind of going through. Like, we've got two lunch snacks. Two of the Belveda packets. I mean, you can tell we've got one Jello pudding cup left. Um, here's Fat Man's Peanut Butter Crackers. He's got a good many of those left. We only have a few granola bars left. Um, we do have the stuff to make the mini pizzas. And I've got some cheese down there. So I need to put that on my list. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. Go through your refrigerator. Make a list. Go through your freezers. Make a list. Go through your pantry. Make a list. Um, write down like your breakfast options. Write down your lunch options. Um, you know, no, we don't have Captain Crunch cereal. Sorry. We do have cornflakes. And we do have grits. We've got oatmeal. We've got cream of wheat. How about you? We do have breakfast stuff. We might not have Captain Crunch, but that's okay. Get in there and get you some oatmeal. I'm just saying. Times is rough. <laughs> I want to start using up this stuff before I buy anything else. And then we can take our grocery budget and either half of it is going to go toward debt and the other half is going to go toward stockpiling or replenishing um, items like meat. We're going to, for everyone we need to buy, we're going to buy two more. Um, like, okay, peanut butter. We need to buy peanut butter and jelly. So I'm going to buy one because we need, and then I'm going to buy two more. So I'm going to buy a total of three. Um, same way with jelly. We have no jelly down there left. So I'm going to buy one for now and two for later. So I'm going to buy a total of three jellies. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm not getting Captain Crunch. No. No. My food budget needs to go toward three jellies. You see how that goes? Um, I did pull out Miss Becca and Miss Carol Beth. Those muffin mixes that I bought a while back when I did my big Walmart pickup order thing. Um, and I did muffin mixes and I never got around to making them. They are going to make those today and that will be another breakfast option that can be put in the freezer. So, um, but yeah, I'm just kind of taking inventory. Um... I can kind of look and see. Okay, soup's right now. We really truly really don't need soup. It's not, you know, it's not soup weather. Um, evaporated milk, they had a limit on those. If there's not a limit on them, I might get a whole case. If they're still marked, they were. The all they brand was marked fifty nine cents. The carnation kind was a dollar thirty nine. If they still have the Aldi brand for fifty nine cents, and there's no limit, I'm buying a case. Cause like I said, push comes to shove. What can you use? Evaporated milk. Hi, hey, that makes the best macaroni and cheese you ever put in your pie hole. Um. We are down to two cans of mushrooms, so I need to buy a case of mushrooms. Um, we're down to one taco shell, so I need to buy at least three. Um, canned goods, I'll usually go ahead and buy a case of them. Um, you're talking, what, 12? Yeah, 12 cans usually are in a case. So, all right, well, let me get back to counting first. 
All right, here's just something that I just kind of whipped up. I found three to six month onesie. Look how little. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe my Alice Marie used to be this small. This is one that we had extra that I never decorated for her. So it's a new one. It just, I never did do anything with it. So, and the niece, my nephew and his wife are, he's an Auburn fan. She's an Alabama fan. So, we're going to go with what she likes, because we all know what the woman has to say. So, I took a red and white, and I made a bow, and I put right there, and I am debating. I've got this ruffly, but this makes the cutest thing that goes in the pillowcase dresses. So, I might wait and use this. For a strap for a pillowcase dress or it makes a cute bow i was thinking about doing the ruffle butt but i think i'm gonna hold off and use it Ooh, what about a rick rack ruffle butt we could rink rack it i wonder what that would look like rink rack the butt I don't know if I like that. But yeah, so even, even if you don't think that you can, can't, you know, so you can buy the pre-made bows for like near but nothing. Just go, even like the little hair bows and get you a set of onesies and you can just hand stitch it on there. If you know how to sew on a, a button, that's all you're doing. Um, I just, I know how to make the bows, shake the ribbon, and just, and I know I don't do it the right way. I used to know how to do it, but that was years ago, girl. That was years ago. So, but yeah, I thought that would turn out cute. It would give her something to wear kind of now, and the pink and white striped one would give her something to wear later. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to do for her. Now I need to get concentrated on Kevin James. He is the little boy that's going to be born in July. Oh my goodness. We are, we are heading into July. What? Oh my gosh, y'all. Wednesday is July the 1st. Sweet Henny's to heaven. I have not even started on his stuff. Have not even started. And he's the one, I don't know if I'm going to be able, I want to so bad, I do the actual heirloom sewn outfit. And I just, Lord, give me the strength. I want to. I want to. We can do this. One day at a time, we can do this, sweet Jesus. All right. I'm looking through my ribbons. Look at this cute boy ribbon. I might find something I can put that on. Like I said, even if I can't, if I can't do the heirloom thing, then I can't do the heirloom thing, but I can, I can make him something else, which bows wouldn't go for boys. Um, yeah, you don't put bows on boys. But honey, girls, the bigger the bow, the more mama loves you. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to make that sweet. Let's see, we've got Nolly, we've got Maddie Grace, and we've got Mary Lisa. Those are our three girls that are born or going to be born. Nolly and Maddie Grace are already here. We are waiting on Mary Lisa, and she is... She's about to pop at any time, okay? This would make the cutest hair bow. Because we know in the South, we've got that saying. Y'all know what I'm going to say. The bigger the bow, the more mama loves you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's like the higher the hair, the closer to God. <laughs> 
I need to make them big hair bows. Yeah. Okay, remember I talked about I'd gone through the freezers and the refrigerator and I was trying to find things that we need to kind of use up. Um, last night we did have that country fried steak. This is the chicken patties that I'd found. And I found part of a bag of those breadsticks we had got from the bread store a while back. Hey, fat man. Hey, what's going on, y'all? He looks like a burglar or a bandit whenever he... COVID-19. That's his mask. I am shocked people are... Yeah, what do you do when you go into a store and you got that on? Explain that one. And he, Becca was supposed to have made muffins for me today. That never happened. But I can't I can't get on to her too much. She was so sweet. She got Carol Beth out of the house for me. Because Carol Beth was going crazy. So they went and they went to Taco Bell and got some lunch and even brought me something back home. And then bless their hearts after they got home. Taco Bell did not give Carol Beth her order. Carol Beth had ordered quesadillas. And there were no quesadillas in the bag. So Becca gave her her two tacos. So, and then I offered her one of my tacos. But anywho, it was nice. It was nice. So, I mean, time just slipped up on us today. I don't know. So, I can't get on to her for not making. I'm down here. I'm down here. <laughs> I can't get on to her for not making. I'm going to use my good pens. Um, muffins. We can do that tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. Um, I wore myself slap out. I'm um, doing what little bit of sewing I did. I didn't even really and truly sew that much. And now I've been crocheting. And I haven't crocheted much. And my hands are just swollen and cramped. And yeah. So, we're going to quit that for a while. And we're going to start some supper. We're taking these leftover chicken patties. Remember, I had two open bags. Tell me that hadn't happened to y'all. Three in each bag. So I had six. So we're going to heat that up. I've got some angel hair pasta. I'm going to cook some of it. I'm going to cook a few of these breadsticks. And I'm going to go look in the freezer and get some of that spaghetti sauce that I froze. Remember, I got the really, really big can from Sam's for like $3. And it worked out, I think, for four bags. Yeah, for four meals. So that's what we're going to do to use with this. Yeah. Okay, we have a slight little change of plans. No big deal. I thought I had some. Oh, my bow. I thought I had some frozen pasta, uh, uh, pasta sauce in the freezer. I do not. It was frozen salsa. I forgot I used up all the pasta sauce whenever all the kids came for Sunday dinner. So, womp womp on my half. Um, so, that's okay. I still got the chicken patties in the oven. I am still going to put cheese on them whenever they come out. I am still going to make breadsticks um, just for our pasta. I'm going to use angel hair herb pasta. Make it kind of like a chicken alfredo type thing. Um, I do have one box of like a hamburger helper chicken alfredo. But I know... The kiddos love this, so um, we're going to do that. That's how we're going to roll. Um, see, I had a plan. I was missing one ingredient, 
So we just kind of shifted gears. We're still using basically all the same essentials. I'm still using my chicken patties, still using my breadsticks. I'm still having a pasta. I'm still going to use up some of my stuff for salad. My mouth is getting dry. That's why I'm talking that way. But anywho, so keep up. Do your do, work your plan. And if you can't work your plan, alter your plan to make it work. Okay? You can do this. You can do this. We're shelf timbering. Shelf cooking. We're doing this. Alright, so let me get my water. Okay, and that... Uh-oh. I'm moving this way. I'm just going to do four of the breadsticks. Put the others back in the freezer. Um, I'm trying to think of what... Something this week... Um, I know I'm having something else this week that I can use the breadsticks with. Anywho, I got that other pasta going. I think that man Steve is done. So let me get it off. I'm just gonna, um, take and put butter. I'm just gonna smear butter on these. They've kind of gotten where they've been in there for quite a while. Um, I noticed the ones we had before kind of a little on the hard side. So you just put a little bit of extra butter on them. And that will soften them up. That, I probably didn't have them in there long enough when I did them before. Anywho, I went out and I picked from our herb garden that Fat Man made me. I picked some of our fresh herbs. Our basil has gone cuckoo crazy. I mean, up out of its spot, cuckoo crazy. Um, Alright, I found them. They were where I'd laid, I'd laid them down so I could get the boil. Anyway, this is our basil. I'm just going to, I cut off way more than I needed. But it smells so good. Um, and I'm probably going to take that other and just chop it up. And, or leave it whole even. And, uh in the fridge and later this week I will find something to throw it on. Alright, got parsley. We're just going to kind of cut it and put it on there. Even the stems. Usually a lot of people will tell you don't use the stems. Um, I've heard oh, who was it talking about? The stems, that's where the main flavor comes from actually is the stem. So don't throw your stems away. I mean, you don't want all stems, but that's plenty of that. I did pick some rosemary um, just because it was going a little bit crazy. I don't want a lot of it. Rosemary is very pungent. It does not take much. I only want just a very little bit. Right now, and now this sprig right here would be perfect to take it just like this. Lay it in your crock pot on top of a piece of pork. Whether it be pork butt, pork loin, pork chops, whatever. Just take and lay that directly on top and let it cook. You're asking for some good stuff. Um, like I said, I've got enough parsley. Um, parsley. This is thyme. I don't need that much thyme. <laughs> I need a lot of thyme. <laughs> I ain't going to use about that much. And I'm just going to kind of pull it apart. Sprinkle it around. We are actually making a fresh... Very fresh. Very, very fresh. Okay, here's some sage. 
I just want like one or two like parcel leaves. I'm just gonna kind of cut it along. All right. There's more sage and thyme. We don't need that. I'm just gonna put it over there in my little pile. I'm making a pile for. I'm gonna do something with that. Okay. Here is my lavender. Oh, it smells. So good. It, it does not take much at all. Um, basically, lavender is in Herbe de Provence. And I know I did not say that the correct way, but I'm in Alabama. We say, hey, hon. How you doing, Heifer? So I can say herb de, de Provence. Yeah. Where, where is your... Yeah. <laughs> I've been a miss for words here lately. Um, I'll be talking and I'm... And I'm like, you know. And I'll have to fill in the word. I don't know if that last lick to my noggin on the concrete floor did something to me or not. <laughs> yeah, yep, nothing in my noggin. I'm like Dory. Nope, nothing in my noggin. I'm just stirring this pasta. And whoever made the comment that they wished I would have shown the food plated up tonight, I will make sure I'm going to show you all the food plated up. All right, I'm trying to think about what else I can do. I mean, this is loaded down. That's the herbs I have left. So, but I'm trying to think how he's taking out. We need to go through that freezer, on. I need to organize. That's what we used to say about the chickens when we had the farm. We would talk about the chickens. They're organizing. <laughs> They're organizing. I've got some mozzarella cheese I had taken out because I thought we were going to do chicken farm. And I am going to throw some of this mozzarella on top of these breadsticks. Got all those fresh herbs. Why not some fresh mozz? Doesn't that look good? It smells. Y'all, I wish you could smell. I mean, it, it smells like a true Italian restaurant up in here. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of cover that up. And I had my oven on 350 while my, um, no, it was 400 actually, while my chicken patties were, oh, that's hot, chicken patties were cooking. I'm just going to stick those in there on top of my pan. I am actually going to turn my oven off. And I'm just going to let the heat do its thing with my breadsticks. Alright, so this is the cheese I got left. I don't think we're going to need it for anything. Um, we have still got to... See, it's things like this I should have done whenever I went to the store. And I did not. Um, like the big thing of hamburger, uh, the big thing of hot dogs. Then they're still good. They're, the date is fine, but they need to widen up and put in the freezer. Yeah, well, we hadn't done it. Um, yeah, I need to get a freezer inventory. We hadn't done it. Um. Becca was supposed to have helped me with that today. And like I said, I was working on baby clothes and sewing. And by the time they got back from Taco Bell, um, I don't know if she went and looked for her a chair. She's looking for a chair for her room. Um, I don't know. She didn't say. They were so upset that they had left. Carabas um, quesadillas out of their lunch. 
so anywho neither one of them said anything about um oh gosh ay 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 Alright, I'm going to just take these other herbs. I'm going to stick in here. I know you're supposed to put them in a fresh glass of water. Rachel Ray watching, so what she don't know won't hurt her. <laughs> We're just going to take it and I'm just going to stick it in the fridge like that. I don't even have my menu plan up here on the thing. Oh, tomorrow night we're going to use up that beef steak with the mushrooms and onions. I can add that to the rice and make herbed rice. Yes, yes. Did y'all know you can do that? If you have any fresh herbs left over, like if you go and you buy herbs from the store and you don't use them all, and you don't want to throw them out, or if you have an herb garden and you cut too much, or you need to use something, um, add it to your rice, and it will give it a whole new twist. Yeah. All right. So this pasta is about about done. Um, I'm gonna see if that man. We'll take out on a tour of the garden. Alright guys, this is my garden. A little growed up, but it's producing. We got a little bit of corn, we got beans, we got purple hull peas, and we got we got crowder peas. Down there we got tomatoes, uh, we got some uh, eggplant, pepper, and squash, and okra all in, up in there. It's a little growed up, I hadn't just had time to do it between projects and side work and working full time. Uh, that's about it. I mean, get a little my junk pile and and my little garden. When this is all over, we're gonna till it up and uh, plant more. Gotta keep going. Okay, I'm gonna show you some more stuff. This is Miss Stacy's herbs these things are going crazy see I told you yeah we in the we in the front yard now why not miss Stacy's flowers you know big girl got a little flower and you know fat man takes care of it you know Things get a little out of hand sometimes. I can't keep it all up, but I'm trying. I really like that begonia on the end. Okay, guys, this is our mailbox. I heard a lantana here. I ain't done nothing to it. This stuff's gone wild. I mean, I like it. All right, I'm out of here. All right, this is it. Plate it up. I enjoy our pasta, the chicken patties. And then the salad that I made. It's just the cucumber from the neighbor, some tomatoes, 
and then that romaine lettuce. There's Karen, <laughs> Fat Man. Carol Bass gone to go get her plate. Yeah, everybody's been asking about where's Carol Beth been? Where's Carol Beth? There's Carol Beth. I have said that. They have been asking where she Whatever. was. Hush. Mm. She's got a fan base. Oh. Yeah. Can you tell Dawn and Grady hey? Hi. The, ignore the person over there who's. Yeah, don't pay attention, Karen. <laughs> Don't pay to me. Is supper good? <laughs> yes. Me neither. I know, right? Hmm? Hey guys. Supper's good. <laughs> it is good. The breadsticks are very good. With... You've done a real good job there, big girl. What do you think about it with the fresh herbs? Delicious. <laughs> We're going to get Karen off the island. <laughs> it's judgment at Survivor. Does that mean I can stay with you? Mm-hmm. They can't say I can stay with them. You're booted. Because I'm too bougie bougie. <laughs> so, but that's going to do it. Y'all got to see the garden. You got to see our meal. Yeah. I showed them flowers up there. And I went out to the mailbox and showed that. Oh, okay. Did you show them the vegetable garden? Mm-hmm. And the herbs out here on those herbs have gone crazy. That We're, basil. Yes, that basil has. Yeah, my hands just shaking. All right, so uh, go do your bows, huh? Can't go to the crossroads. I need to get a cat and go to the crossroads. <laughs> Fix all that. So put your suspenders on, which he don't wear anymore. I got a better belt. So. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, ladies? Ah, he's telling you to ride. He's taking we a ride. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Go Beth, you wanna tell everybody bye? Bye. Bet. Whatever. Bye. Karen? Oh sweet Jesus. Bye, y'all. <laughs>